All right. So here's a really interesting and important question. Can exercise help managing diabetes? The short answer is yes, but we are talking about type 2 diabetes specifically. Let me break it down for you. When it comes to type 2 diabetes, most cases involve something called insulin resistance. This is when your body cells don't respond properly to insulin, which leads to a buildup of glucose or sugar in the blood. Now, here's where exercise comes into play. When you exercise, your muscles need energy, right? That energy comes from the glycogen stored in your muscles and liver. As you work out, you deplete those glycogen stores, which makes room for more glucose to be absorbed from your bloodstream. Plus, exercise helps build muscle mass, and the more muscle you have, the more glucose your body can store and process. That's why many doctors will tell patients with type 2 diabetes to get moving. Exercise can actually help your body use insulin more efficiently, and in some cases, it can even reverse insulin resistance, essentially curing the diabetes. However, if you have type 1 diabetes or a form of type 2 diabetes that isn't caused by insulin resistance, maybe your body just doesn't produce enough insulin or there's another issue, then exercise alone can't cure it. That doesn't mean exercise isn't important. It's still a key part of managing diabetes, no matter the type. So, think of diabetes management like a triangle. Medication, nutrition, and exercise. All three are crucial, and you really can't rely on just one alone. Even if exercise doesn't cure your type of diabetes, it can still help keep your blood sugar levels stable and improve your overall health. So the takeaway here, if your type 2 diabetes is caused by insulin resistance, yes, exercise could potentially cure it. But even if it's not, staying active is still a major part of managing diabetes successfully. When it comes to managing diabetes, certain exercises can be particularly effective. Here are some of the best exercises for diabetes, focusing mainly on type 2 diabetes. 1. Walking. One of the simplest and easiest exercises to start with. Walking helps improve circulation, increase your heart rate, and burn calories without needing any special equipment. Even a brisk 30 minute walk can help lower blood sugar levels. Two, cycling. Cycling, whether outdoors or on a stationary bike, is great for cardiovascular health and improving insulin sensitivity. It's easy on the joints and helps work large muscle groups in the legs, which can help with glucose uptake. Three, Strength training lifting weights or using resistance bands can help you build muscle mass, which in turn helps your body use insulin more efficiently. Twice a week of strength training is often recommended for people with diabetes, focusing on exercises like squats, lunges, and lifting weights. Four, swimming. Swimming is excellent for overall fitness and it's especially beneficial if you have any joint issues, as it's a low impact exercise. It's great for your heart and lungs and helps with blood sugar control by utilizing large muscle groups. Five, Pilates. Pilates helps improve flexibility, balance, and muscle strength while also reducing stress, something particularly important for managing diabetes. Stress can raise blood sugar levels. So practicing Pilates regularly can be an effective way to keep that under control. Six, dancing. Yes, dancing. It's a fun way to get moving, increase your heart rate, and burn calories. Whether you're into Zumba, Salsa, or just grooving around at home, dancing can be a great way to stay active. 7. High-intensity interval training. HIT. HIT involves short bursts of intense exercise followed by periods of rest or low-intensity activity. HIIT workouts are very effective for lowering blood sugar and improving insulin sensitivity in a relatively short amount of time. 8. Resistance band workouts. If you don't have weights, resistance bands are a great alternative. You can use them for a variety of strength exercises that help build muscle, improve insulin sensitivity, and lower blood sugar. How often should you exercise? 
The American Diabetes Association, ADA, recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous aerobic activity per week, spread out over at least three days, with no more than two consecutive days without exercise. They also recommend incorporating strength training at least twice a week. Remember, before starting any exercise program, especially if you have other health concerns, it's best to consult with your physiotherapist. Starting slow and gradually increasing your intensity can help prevent injuries and ensure you're exercising safely. These exercises not only help control blood sugar, but also improve overall fitness, heart health, and mental well-being 